Dave. Bob, this is Jay. We are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And on this episode, we're reviewing the latest Marvel movie, Ant-Man, Quantum Mania. If I were to make a YouTube face right now yeah. that summarizes my reaction to this movie, yeah. it would be something like this. <laughs> he didn't like it. I, I, I didn't like this movie on a primal level. I was yeah. very disappointed. I, uh, oh, give me a break. Bob, how'd you think? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I recommend it. It's worth seeing. It was it was totally enjoyable. What? It could have been it could have been better. Absolutely. There's there's problems <laughs> with it that could have made it from a, a good movie to a great movie, but it's mm -hmm. still worth seeing. If you enjoyed Ant Man one and two, absolutely watch. You absolutely watch. I didn't I didn't laugh once. The humor really? the humor was almost non existent in this movie. The writing oh, and the dialogue no. were terrible. The world building was terrible. I, I felt like I felt like halfway through the movie, I, I turned to Steve. I was going to say to him something derogatory about the movie, and then I realized that once I started, I wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. So I decided not to do it. It's not that bad. It's bad. Check it out. It's fun. It's a fun movie. It's well. It's well worth it. Especially if you like the first couple of movies. Yeah, I mean, but but the point is, they they did such Marvel on average. If you average out all the movies, they're way more hit than miss. Mm -hmm, Marvel yeah, has done a fantastic yeah, job. This is a miss for you, like the, almost unprecedented. Yeah, but that's why this the quality of this movie didn't hold up even close to the other ones, even close. And the other two Ant Man movies were way more fun, way more, way more. Like the story, the stories were better. The dialogue was better. The character development was better. I just felt like this movie was like, hey, let's let's make another Ant Man movie, and like they didn't care about the script at all. They phoned it in. They phoned it in. Totally. That's how I felt. I, mean, I just think you're exaggerating the whole thing. The whole how bad, how so, the bad problems. Well, let's talk about it. I think you're both right. I'm kind of somewhere in between the two of you. Although I think I'm a little bit closer to Jay on this one than you, Bob, um, because. Yeah, if you just looked at this movie in isolation, if you if it wasn't part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Marvel franchise, you could say, okay, yeah, that was kind of a B movie. It was decent. It was a fun ride, but it wasn't that great of a movie. But I enjoyed it. You know, it was better than not going to the movies. But because it's part of the Marvel franchise, it does raise the bar a little mm -hmm. bit. And because they have the resources, they they they're building towards something. They they have the writers. From that perspective, it fell way short of what it should have been. Right. And it fell short in lazy ways that were completely unnecessary. And, it, and for that reason, you, know, you, you, you do great on a curve a little bit. I mean, and it was, as Jay yeah. said, I felt disappointing. Now, watching the movie, the experience of watching the movie was like, it was all right. You know, there was the, so let's, let's delve into the details. Now we get to the spoiler ridden version of the review. So, the uh, they come up with a reason for our our heroes to be sucked down to the the quantum realm, where the misadventure ensues. Um, the uh, the let's very, talk about the, the very first thing, right? The so very they, first. Thing, let's talk they, about the science of the whole quantum realm thing, which I, is I felt like well, you have you really have to watch this movie to understand the review that we're about to give yeah. because there's details here that we're going to talk about that are important. So one. If there were a quantum realm, mm -hmm. it would be so fantastically huge, right? Because because yeah. of how small it is, and because it, I guess it's everywhere. I mean, I don't I don't quite understand like how the fabric of it would work. That's the world building thing. Yeah. So utter failure in world building uh, in, for this because you don't know that you don't know where it is. It's not. Is it floating on a dust speck in the I, air? Or I disagree. I disagree. Um, if you look at some of the quotes, yeah, they could have explained it better. I ag absolutely agree with that. But if you go with some of the quotes and you do a little bit of research, you understand wait, wait, wait. what I this is. I don't know. I do, Bob. You you absolutely can't throw out there that I have to do some research to enjoy no. the movie. Well, then let, let's look at some quotes then. Where Janet says, when she was describing the, the quantum realm, she says, "You weren't able to look deep enough, not through the void and subatomica," and then. This is this one's important. It's a place outside time and space. So this is not the quantum realm. I will say that the name of this movie is probably a misnomer. It really should be a microverse mania. It's not really our quantum realm. There is a now, of course, I had I had to Google this because because 
she mentions the sub subatomica. What is that? That's a cool word. And I did have to do, I, I, I did a little Googling and I found out what it was. This is, this, is more, this is not a universe within the universe. This is more of a parallel dimension, which makes it similar to the multiverse realities. Mm -hmm. So it's, this isn't something that, that if you just squeeze yourself down, you're going you're gonna to see this, this universe. No, it, there's actually a, an artificial, a constructed nexus that you go through. And so subatomica, what is subatomica? Bob, Bob, That's a planet. Bob, Gee, this is Bob, a parallel universe. None of this was in the movie. And I and I said they could have explained that better. Yeah, but it's but a major, but it's it. a major flaw. It's a major flaw because as I'm sitting there, you know, with the title of the movie bouncing around in yeah. my head, I'm thinking that they went down to the quantum realm, and there is a yeah. there's a planet or a universe I, there. Or that, that's wrap a my head around That's the, a failure. They, they failed to communicate properly uh, exactly what it, this, this really this is. This wasn't just a failure to communicate, Bob. I think they have a very vague idea about what it is. What you're saying doesn't even make sense. In the movie, they quite clearly are shrinking, and they are going yes, through stages of that, shrinking. And that shrinking puts you through this artificial nexus that brings you to the microverse. This is not the. This is not what we would consider the quantum but what, realm. But what is the microverse? How big is it? It's like it's it's a it's a it's got it's a it's another it's got world subatomica that Janet references is a, a planet. It's a it's a star system. And there's other there's, there's other a, wait, parts there's a planet of it. called subatomica. Yes, it's not a subatomic world that you're shrinking down into. No, I just I don't even agree with all of that stuff. Yeah, no, I think terrible. This is, this, is terrible. Where, this is what this is what they meant. This I is, like the movie less because of what yeah you that just that, told that me. makes it worse. I, even worse. I it's like a confused it, mess. I, I yeah. that, and I agree with you. I I agree that th that needed to be communicated better, and that was a mistake on their part. But my what I the reason why I like this discovery that I made is because it's not another yet another gimme that we need to say, oh yeah, there's a universe at this at this subatomic realm that we just don't see. It's not it isn't that. It, All right. It's I, fact Bob, that it's a, it's Bob, a Bob, I'm not even I'm not even convinced that that's the case. Yeah, it is. Bob she specifically references Okay, all right, but you have to subatomic let, let's let's quick let's let me let me do a parallel here to poetry. Mm -hmm. If it's not in the verse, it doesn't exist, right? Meaning that you could interpret a poem a lot of different ways, but you have to be able to use the text to back yourself up and say, yeah, well, it's in the text. I can interpret it this way. This isn't an interpretation problem. The information that you're giving me isn't in the movie. Yes. She says it's not inside. It's outside of space and time. But what, what does, does that, that mean? mean to you? It, it means that it's not in our reality. But, but, but Bob, that could be a description of the quantum realm because it, uh, you know, no. quantum mechanics does exist in a way. It's not the same space and time. Bob, we in, in, sure, in the sure movie, in the movie, no, they, they have Pym. Pym, the guy the that, particle, yeah. that created the Pym particle, that is a genius when it comes to this. All they had to do, this is all they had to do. Once they go down and they're there and he's like, this isn't the quantum realm. This isn't it. This can't be it because right. this isn't this. You, you know, we. I think we're actually blah. I agree. That, that if I they agree. did that, then we would have something to wrap our head around. I agree. But so, so I'm going into it, and and it even doesn't matter. Steve said it. It doesn't even matter because once we're there, once we get to this location, wherever it is, and how weird it is, it, it doesn't really. It's not really a planet. There's like lots of big things spinning around, and, and th there's a lot of things in the movie that are seem to be derived from the notion that this place is very small, right? You must agree with that. It's it's the microverse, but it's not it's not what we would okay. consider the yeah, quantum that's, realm. Yeah, that's why there's like a it's paramecium a, at some point that's as big as a whale. It's right? a parallel dimension. It's not a universe within the All universe. Right, let, let's that's get, accepted let, canon in 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 Marvel. It, that's see, Jay. I'm, I'm, I'll say it again. I agree with you. This was not communicated well. But when you say when someone says that's not how the quantum world re is, but, I have to say, but it's not the quantum. It's really not the quantum realm. Bob, mm. Bob, let's get past this right, point. That's all I'm yeah, saying. that's, that's all I'm but, saying. But, but the point. point is, that's all I'm saying. But so they, they, it's it's like a Disney World version of something real. You know, in other words, they're they they created this parallel universe that is quantum themed. Even like it's, so it's, uh, it has this this theme of being very small, but it really isn't. It's really outside of time and space. Whatever that means, that means gobbledygook, nothing. And it's undef it's small to an undefined degree. We're not really sure how the physics are supposed to work there. It's just it's weird. 
because the quantum world is weird and this world is weird. So we're going to call it the quantum world, even though it really isn't. It's the micro world. But we really aren't really sure what, what size it is. But it's really yeah. small. It's so – it's a confused mess. Right. The world I, building – Not really just raised. in communication. In conception. Disagree. Right. Conceptually, it's a confused mess. The world mess. building is a complete Terrible train wreck world because – like I, I agree with what Steve said. Like I, I'm, I have this sneaking suspicion that the writers didn't, don't know. They, they didn't They're really throwing out sciencey terms without any idea yeah, of any, any is, real conception of what it is. It's techno babble at that it's, point. Yeah, it's techno babble world is what it is. Not only that, even if we put all of that aside, and it's just this other place. Right. It's like Narnia. You go through a closet and you're in a different world. Fine. It, the world building from that perspective was also horrible mm -hmm. because how big is this world? What's the metaphysics of this world? Are they on a planet? What? what yeah, what? I think it is. But, but there's, it, it is. doesn't look that way to me. You have no sense of what watching the film. I'll give you a great example. What, what's, that, what's the geopolitical yeah, structure? No, no, no place had a name. There wasn't like... We're from blah, and you're from blah. It like, was, was just one city. Yeah, it was like just one big area. Well, how that, about this? Where where the humans come from? Yeah, I, why are the humans there? They should have populated it with bizarre creatures and no humans. That, I agree. I, yeah, there right? was, they, they didn't was, even commit to their own premise right. of it, it's a it, weird I, place. It's I a weird agree. place that was with a humans. Mess. It was populated predominantly by humanoids. Yeah, if not straight up humans, right? Which is weird. And again, I love the bizarre but this creatures is, that were there. But this is some of them are interesting. This I is like where it too. this they is where double down on that. smart writing has to click in. The the writer should know it, it's going to be weird if we put humans down there. So we need to give a reason why. Yeah. So we could say I agree. a thousand years ago, a bunch of humans got sucked down here yeah. by some type of quantum accident or some weird event that, that would, happened that in the universe. That would have given the yes. world history yeah. and those people some identity and yeah. culture and background and you know what I mean? Yeah. It's something I agree. Interesting except, to, except for this big question of why are there people here? And this makes you know absolutely what, no sense. You know what vibe I got when I, the first 10 minutes of them being in this quantum realm, whatever it is, <laughs> I really felt like they were ripping off Star Wars. Yeah. Star I say Wars? at some point you total oh totally. total Star Wars ripoff. And what if I told you and tell me if you think this is a fair summary of this movie, where the protagonists get involved with a band of plucky rebels who are fighting against a dark lord who is using a legions of faceless stormtroopers to take over the world. Yeah, that's Star Wars, and that's this movie. Yep, totally. Right? Yeah. The, his That's his fair. faceless soldiers were stormtroopers. He literally sat on a throne that was reminiscent of Palpatine, and it, you know it, he was a dark lord. And he also, what's his motivation? I mean, this is actually the thread of the movie that could have been interesting, and I think probably is when you connect it to all the other movies mm -hmm. and the other plot line. Mm -hmm. But it didn't come. They didn't leverage it in this movie, and that is for the main protagonist. Why? What? Sh what should we be feeling about him? He he. At some times he comes off like a cardboard villain, but then you get hints that. But he there's, he's doing it for a reason. But why is he doing right. it this way? And why isn't he making a better case for himself? Yes, yeah, they that never was, committed. You know, they never, never committed, committed to the plot. He could have easily just tweaked his the what he said yes. just a little bit, and I would have backed him up at any like, point. Yes. At any point where they wrote text, they wrote. They wrote the script where he's talking at any point, even when he was, right. even when Pim's wife, you know, when she saved him, you know, he could have appealed to her and said, I have to get back. I have to get back because, and, and like give to her. save the multiverse. Right. Give her some, some type of thing. But so what, what would you do to save the multiverse? You know, you think what I'm doing is bad. What would you do if the multiverse were at stake? Right. Would the, you do this? Because villains, the, yes, he was, he ended up. that because they want everyone to, be, to hate him. So, but, blah, end, but, but what they did was they ended, up, this, they ended up turning him into a mustache twisting villain, which is the worst kind of villain because he, you, you really, he does, the villain yeah. is, a, is like you're using the iceberg metaphor, does not have a, a foundation. There is no reason for him to be a villain because they didn't tell us the reason. If we knew, if we understood, like yeah. with Thanos, they right? actually took it away. It's I, there apparently in the backstory, but they took it away. I will right. argue. In the I film. will argue that Thanos, much better villain, isn't isn't really a bad guy. Yeah, he he he's just misunderstood. He is no no. I he, was on his side for a little while. I mean, which is right. An amazing that's the whole point because you uh, like like we understand why Darth Vader is Darth Vader. We understand why Thanos. You know, we we can understand why Thanos is deciding 
I'm trying to do something good for the universe. From my perspective, half the people need to go because of these reasons. Okay, at least there's a motivation. There's yeah. a modus operandi. With this villain, he was a cardboard mustache twisting villain because they gave us nothing. So the whole time, I'm like, I'm not a, I'm not entertained by the actor's acting. I didn't I didn't think he even acted well. He's a good actor. Oh, he's he, a but good they, actor. But they gave it's him a, nothing. It's a disservice. It's a disservice to the directing and the story in this movie that they that it's such a good actor gave such a flat performance. Yeah, his performance it, was flat. He, was probably, so he probably squeezed out every drop of, yeah. of lemon juice he could out of what they gave I him. I mean, think, I mean, you could come up with so such a better version of that character in just five minutes of thinking about it where, so he he had to escape to fight his other selves from destroying the multiverse. That gave him good motivation. But then he couldn't escape, so he said, "Well, while I'm here, I think I'll conquer everything, you know, and be a bad guy." Right. right. That was that's the best I, I could make of it. Yeah. Rather than I need to do this in order to be able to escape and in order to fulfill right. my thing, and this is just a temporary, you know, sketchy thing, like gray zone thing I have. Right. To like do. bad guys, bad but, guys yeah, but, have inspirations. Yeah. They have things that they want to accomplish, and they have motivations to do that. And they gave this guy nothing. All right. So that's that. So we took we, we world building him. was terrible. The characters are cardboard and flat. The plot was a confused mess, and the only thing that held together was a direct ripoff of Star Wars without any new elements or really new imagination. I'll give it to and them there here. Was, they, and there, it was no humor in the movie. I agree with Jay. There were there were parts of it were pretty to look at. Yeah, there, there was some the cool. They, was they, they did some it. cool character creation. Yeah. There were some interesting weirdo like creatures. Yeah, one of them in particular, that gelatinous little guy. I that like was that guy. He was, I felt was, bad for the actors during the movie, though, thinking that oh my god, they are completely surrounded by green screens for a good chunk yeah. of this movie. It's all green screen, and they must have been like, oh my. god. They didn't god. suffer as much as I did through the film. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, at least they got paid millions of dollars. I had to shell out nine bucks Come to on, see that so travesty. You, you saw the movie. I asked you what you thought, and you and you didn't. You were not talking like this. I realized that as you think about this, you see the the failings become more prominent as you really that dissect. Well, that's it. a good measure of a movie. When if you're after you see me, I didn't. I had all these complaints at the time in, yeah. during the movie. Um, but they they do bother me more over time because you the more you think right. about it. When, you after you see a good movie, you end up liking it more and more the more you think about it, and the more you realize, oh, it, it's really interesting and the characters and you like to you feel like you want to talk to somebody about it to explore some aspect of it. Right. And then with a bad movie, like you may, you may have enjoyed the ride a little bit, but the more you think about it, the more all the bad stuff that didn't work bothers you and really starts to gnaw at you, and and then you and it just leaves an increasingly sour taste in your mouth. And that was my experience with this yeah. movie. Yeah. Right. Like the, here's the death of, of any movie, right? You're 90% of the way through, you're 98% of the way through, and you're watching like the last thing happen, and you don't care. And you don't care. You don't care. And it's like, oh, look, he got up again. He wasn't really dead. I saw that coming. A yeah, like, like and how that, many tropes are they going to throw at like, us? Like at the movie? very end, you think that, oh, maybe Ant Man and the Wasp are trapped. Yeah. yeah and I, wherever, I, right? I was, I and that I thought that, that would have been provocative. Oh, shit. The movie ended and they're trapped in this universe. What the hell? Okay, no, but it's fine. So they save him at the very end. The portal opens up and they're going to go, they're going to step through that portal and go right back home where they were, right? I'm like, I didn't care at all. I didn't yeah. care that they got saved. It was more entertaining to me to think that they don't get saved, right. which is, which I was searching for things that were provocative about the film in order to entertain myself, and I couldn't find any. Even the ants, you didn't even like the ants, Jay. I, I, I love that, that was whole a, little minor plot. It was right? okay, it was right. but, but it was again, cool. they could have built it up more. They here's the thing: yeah, I would have, I wouldn't have minded more of that because they were, they were fascinating. But this movie, like I think three or four times, pulled the you know, the last minute, you know, cavalry riding intro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three yeah. or four times. You can't do that three or four times in one movie yeah. where it's like, oh yeah, this guy that they, that's not in this scene for the last five minutes, he's going to come in and save this scene. At, right. At the when, end. Right. When it looks like the, everything yes. is going wrong. When they actually get defeated, this is the thing that they actually me. get defeated. The yeah. thing that they, that we, they left hanging out there was going to come in and save them. And you knew it every time, yeah. every time you knew you saw it coming a mile away. And the way that they, they, I don't know if they actually killed the villain because this movie, like, people die, but they don't die. But, like, the way that they killed the villain was, like, they kind of sh smushed his body into his energy source, I guess, yeah. whatever, right? And he, he survived. And, and he'll be back. They're going to have to go and get him. It, yeah. but, I but, I, but that that scene happened. They, get, they finally get rid of the villain, and, I, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, 
that was so anticlimactic. It yeah. was so not impressive. It was so not emotionally jarring in any way. And and if I don't care, it doesn't matter how pretty it is. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter how good the special yeah. effects are. Nothing matters if I am sitting there and I don't care. Mm-hmm. Right? Like I, that's that's. I mean, you know, I like the character of Ant. Yeah, I, I like Ant-Man. the actor. I do too. It was fine. His daughter was good. Yeah, the father daughter stuff. I'm a sucker for that. That was fine. But the the villain was nothing. Again, it was a good actor, a great actor. The villain, I felt like. You know, like they didn't go either way. Like they didn't make you care for the. Like they didn't make think. Oh, he's got a point. Oh yeah, maybe should I be rooting for this guy? Like they didn't go that. Yeah. They didn't go that no. way, and they didn't make you hate him either. At the end, it was just meh. The, yep. the main villain of the story. I really, I didn't, I, he, I didn't like feel like anxious for him to nothing. be defeated he felt nothing. or he should conflicted have been, or any. I didn't feel anything about it. Yeah. He should have been more Thanos like in, in something. In our Bob, feelings something. for him. And go one way or the uh, other. I, now, I, I don't him, disagree. Maybe he was. He was. You know, life in that realm for him was so horrible for. How many years 30, was it? Thirty years. That he became twisted. Yeah, that could have been it. But he wasn't twisted. No. He wasn't tragic. He wasn't misunderstood. He wasn't anything yeah. but poorly written. Right. And that was just it made the whole thing fall flat. The whole so thing fell flat. I'll give you a really good example of just horrific writing. Yeah. All right. This might be the last example I give because this, I this video. I think we've going. rung this. No, 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 no. But this is this really this is this is like it in a nutshell. Okay, so the the basic story that we have here, and I hate the fact that I can't remember characters' names. That's how bad the, the, yeah. the movie was written. I don't know oh, what yeah, Pym's yeah. wife's name is. I should Janet. I know, Janet. Okay, Janet, P- Doctor Pym's wife, who was apparently stuck in this micro universe, yeah. whatever it is, Microverse. for I a very long time. This. She gets rescued from this universe, is reunited with her family, yeah. and tells them virtually nothing of what happened to her in the micro universe. She told them Microverse. nothing, nothing. Wait, I'm not done. I got I to finish this, Steve. So now mm-hmm. they are sucked back into the very place that she was. She knows where she is. She knows players. She knows the way the, this world works. Yeah. And she and their and her whole family is there. She tells them nothing. It would be like me falling overboard with the two of you guys, and Steve knows exactly how to survive in the ocean and, and how to get rid of the sharks and how to Aquaman. eat. And he tells us nothing until two seconds before we're about to get killed. Then he's like, maybe I should have told you yeah. how to. Yeah, so they uh-huh. obviously retconned the whole thing, right? They didn't right. plan it from the beginning. So they needed some reason for her not to have told them this huge story. And what they came up with was, yeah, I probably should have told you. That was it. That's what she said. That was the whole reason why she never told them about it. Yeah, I probably should have told you guys about it. And then they wanted to do the slow reveal, so they didn't have her download yeah, yeah, them yeah. at the beginning. And the and the reason for that was I, I was trying to protect you. How? Yeah, for what? How was keeping them in ignorance protecting them from what? I mean, you What's gotta the be kidding be- me. It made zero sense. It was it was Inanity. So this is what happened. It so was the laziest writing you could possibly imagine. They literally didn't spend five minutes thinking of a retcon for that. It took me a half an hour to recover from that. <laughs> I thought about it for a half an hour as the movie was going by. And I even, and I never do this. One of my kids asked me to get them popcorn in the middle of the movie. And I said, "Sure, I'm going to go do it because I'm still thinking about why she didn't tell them. It everything. was so bad. And she didn't tell them even after there was like 10 reasons for her to tell I them. Know. So, Steve, you're right. Uh, they wanted the slow reveal. I didn't even the slow think reveal. of that. So they just did it. And they just and they gave no reason for it. So imagine this. Imagine this. Three of us are family, right? We're brothers. They should have just captured her. I, and they, you I know. Let's say I disappear. Yeah. I just and disappear. They were on their own. They yeah, were, they on, were their own. on their own if I, you want to do the slow I reveal. I disappear. And I come back a decade later. The first thing you would say is, holy shit, tell where were you? That happened. Tell me what what happened. What have you been doing? Are like, you telling me that they have all this time sipping coffee and having breakfast with each other and nobody's grilling her? Tell us exactly where you were for 20 years. What did you do? It's preposterous. Human beings don't work realm. this way. We do not function this way. And as a, as a viewer of someone who's very critical of, the, of the, the media that I take in, I'm very critical of it. How the hell could anybody sit through that and not be like torn apart by that one stupid decision that they made? 
It it ruined the whole movie for me. It blew my mind for the whole movie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They they literally don't know anything about this place. All she had to do was tell them, wow, I was stuck in this quantum world and there was a whole society down there and there was human people down there. Like, what? Nothing. Get yeah, out of here. Are. Bob, they, the they, movie was trash. The more we talk about it, the more right you're start I'm, I'm starting to see that. So here's the other thing. The Ant-Man, <laughs> the Ant-Man franchise within the Marvel Cinematic Universe is my least favorite. And part of the reason why yeah. even is the first two? They were they were, they were, they were okay. They were fun. But the thing is, I felt that they hand waved all of the physics. Yeah, they didn't do and anything. And it just it was physics. constant annoyance. But they like, didn't even make an attempt. Like it's when like, they when when Dr. Pym shrinks down a tank and puts it on his keychain so he can turn it back into a full-size tank later does it on. Weigh as much as a what tank? What the fuck? How is he walking around with a Don't, tank in his come, pocket? Oh, come on, you can't complain about physics. Yes, at this point. you can because Bob, we are we are educated complex is, consumers. Are, this, we are this, complex consumers take today. Take a couple of physicists heroes. to lunch. And have them give you at least some reason to. They have to that. say something. He could just say, "Well, the the gra the gravitational force is being displaced by this other thing that I created." It neutralizes the Higgs boson. I don't give a shit what they, they say. But they don't say just anything. Give us I think. I'm nice. just supposed to <laughs> accept that he's literally walking around with a hand car with a building on it. <laughs> He has a building, a, a building on I a hand love car. That. I the love thing that. is, they give an explanation that doesn't make sense. Oh, it just says that like, the space in between stuff gets compressed. No, that doesn't fly. And it I, doesn't fly, I but remember that's the that. only explanation that was again bullshit. is one that doesn't that fly. That was bullshit. That's why I was I, annoyed Bob, the whole time. I'm annoyed I'm going to blow your mind, and I don't know if I'll ever say this again. <laughs> I liked Prometheus more than this no movie. Way. I did. I enjoyed oh Prometheus more. And I got to tell you why. You're really going to go there, Jack? I am. And I'm going to tell you why I enjoyed Prometheus more. Because, <laughs> get back over here and sit down. I enjoyed, sit down. Pr I enjoyed no Prometheus more. Fucking way. I enjoyed Prometheus more. No. Because, because I loved to hate it. I, this movie oh. wasn't good enough to love it. Wasn't was good enough to hate. I really enjoyed hating Prometheus. I enjoyed ripping it to shreds. This movie just irritates the crap out of me. Right, I agree. Wow. Right? This is more irritating. It literally sucked more than Prometheus. <laughs> I'm done talking. The review is done. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoy Alpha Quadrant 6, please join us. We will be hanging out with each other again, talking about movies that are way better than this one. Yeah. And maybe ones that are worse. <laughs> yeah, maybe, things. you never know. 84% Rotten Tomatoes. Doesn't mean a thing. Doesn't but mean a thing. 45% with the critics. Right. <laughs> we're with the critics. Yeah, we're critics. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah, because they're sitting there, literally those critics are sitting there going, why didn't she tell them what the hell is going on? Go to Alpha Quadrant <laughs> and the number six dot com where you can see more of our episodes. You can listen to this show as a podcast. And man, if you enjoyed this particular episode, why don't you become a patron and help us continue making this show? Guys, we will see you with better movies next week. Yeah.